In this video, we're looking at radians. So we've already shown you the unit circle in a previous video. Now that still applies for radians. Now, instead of going from zero to 90, you go from zero to pi on over two. Because if you remember, pi is just the same as having 180 degrees. So 90 would be pi over two. So down the bottom, three pi over two, and then two pi for 360. All the same thing is apply. Everything's positive in the first quadrant, sine's positive in the second, tan's positive in the third, and cos is positive in the fourth. So all the same processes of how we use the unit circle for degrees applies for radians, except now we're just dealing with radians. So here's an example where we're going to have to find the exact value of cosec over uh, cosec pi over four. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to take note that remember cosec theta is the same as having one over sine theta. Just remember that. So now that I want to do that, personally, I struggle with dealing with radians. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to convert the radians to degrees. So remember, when you're converting radians to degrees, you want to times the radians by 180 over pi. So we have pi over 4 times 180 over pi, and that gets me 45 degrees. So then I can go to my uh, exact triangle, and I know that cosec, sorry, sine 45 equals 1 over root 2. So I'm going to work with that. All right, so now that I know that sine 45 is 1 over 2, I know that cosec pi over 4 is going to be the same as having 1 over 1 over root 2. All right, because we said that sine theta up here, all right, and we said sine theta was 1 over root 2 down here, sine 45. So I can just change it to 1 over root 2. Which means I end up getting 1 divided by uh, 1 over root 2. Essentially what I've got there. Which is the same as having 1 times root 2 over 1. Which is just root 2. Because remember, we don't like to divide by fractions, so what we do is we flip it to get the reciprocal, which is root 2 over 1, and then we change it to a time symbol there instead of divide. So 1 times root 2 is root 2. So just to go through what I did quickly again, I took note that cosec theta is the same as having 1 over sine theta. I converted my pi over 4 to degrees. Now I did that because I know on my formula sheet, my exact triangles are in degrees, so then I know what 45 is. I then chose to find what sine 45 is using the triangle, which got me 1 over root 2. I then go back and substitute that back into our cosec pi over 4, because I know that cosec pi over 4, so cosec pi over 4 is the same as having 1 over sine pi over 4, which we said that sine pi over 4 is 1 over root, four, root 2, sorry, so I substitute that in. I now end up with 1 over 1 over root 2, which is the equivalent of having 1 divided by 1 over root 2. We don't like to divide by fractions. So I flip it to find the reciprocal, and it becomes times. So 1 times root 2 over 1 is just root 2. There was a lot there, so I hope the recap of going back over that helped a little. All right, so another example of a question you might come across is, show that 3 pi over 4 it's the same as having pi minus pi over 4. So if I go over here and go 3 pi over 4, that's what we're working with. Well, I know that that's the same as having if I had uh, 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. Because 4 pi take away pi is 3 pi. So I know that I've got 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. Those 4s would cancel out, and I'm left with pi minus pi over 4. Okay. Next step. So which quadrant now is the angle 3 pi over 4 in? So I can work with that. Simplest way probably is to just convert it to degrees. So 3 pi over 4 times 180 over pi. And that gets me 135 degrees. 
and I know 135 degrees is in quadrant 2. So it was easy, convert it to degrees. If degrees are how you prefer to work with these, go for it. If you know your radians off the top of your head without knowing, uh, needing to do conversions, that works as well. I just find sometimes it's easier because we've been working with degrees for so long to just continue working with them. So find the exact value of cos 3 pi over 4. I'm going to show you the way to work with it through de the degree method. So if we have cos 3 pi over 4, I know from the previous example that 3 pi over 4 was the same as having 135 degrees. All right, so I know that this is now cos 135 or cos on a straight line 180 minus 135 which is cos 45 and 45 is an exact value so that would be in my triangle and I know off the top of my head uh, that cos 45 if you remember you can refer to the tri exact triangle on your formula sheet here you don't need to know this off the top of your head 1 over root 2 but I know because we're in quadrant 2, in quadrant 2, I know that cos is negative. So what I need to do is say that cos 135, sorry, cos 3 pi over 4 is negative 1 over root 2.